All right, so in the book of Leviticus, let's see here, Exodus. So in the book of Leviticus, the Lord called to Moses from the tabernacle and said to him, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. When you present an animal as an offering for to the Lord, you may take it from your herd of cattle of your flock of sheep and goats. And then if the animal you present as a burnt offering is from the herd, uh, it must be a male with no defects. Bring it to the entrance of the tabernacle so you may be accepted by the Lord. It says the animal cannot have no defects. All right, so that's, that's God saying bring your best offering of your first flock. Bring your best offering. He said lay your hand on the animal's head and the Lord will accept its death in your place to purify you making the right making you right with him then slaughter the young bull in the lord's presence aaron's son uh the priests will present the animal's blood by splattering it against all sides of the altar that stands at the entrance of the tabernacle so the altar is at the entrance and he's going to splatter the blood against all sides of that altar because this is a sacrifice Aaron's sons are to do this and uh, the next thing it says this will arrange they will arrange the pieces of the offering including the head and fat on and on the wood burning uh, on the altar but the internal organs and the leg must first be washed in with water then the priest will burn the entire sacrifice on the altar as a burnt offering. It is a special gift, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. So this had to be prepared in a special way. It was cattle. Uh, it was a goat. And it says uh, the flock of the sheep and the goat. So it had to be one that didn't have no defects and no problem because it was going to be a special offering. It says, if the animal you present as a burnt offering uh, is from the flock, it may be either a sheep or a goat, but it must be a male with no defects. Slaughter the animal on the north side of the altar in the Lord's presence. And Aaron's sons, the priests will splatter the blood. <coughs> The priest will spread the blood against the sides of the altar, then cut the animal in pieces, and the priest will arrange the pieces of the uh, burnt offering on the altar. But the internal organs and the legs must first be washed with water. Then the priest will burn the entire sacrifice on the altar as a burnt offering. It is a special gift and a pleasing aroma to the Lord. So... Whatever, when you presented this, this was a special gift and it was a, an aroma to the Lord. It was pleasing because it was the first of your flock and it had no defects. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break right there. This is Leviticus chapter 1. I read you all the way down to 11. When we pick it up, we are going to go to chapter 14. And then we're going to finish. Matter of fact, let's finish. If you present a bird as a burnt offering to the Lord, choose either a turtle dove or a pigeon, and the priest will take the bird to the altar 